I recently bought a dresser and got to thinking about how many drawers can I pull out before the dresser will tip over. In this problem, we have a dresser that has a frame weight or body weight of 222 newtons. And this dresser's frame's center of mass is at 0.235 meters from the pivot point. The pivot point is marked with a yellow triangle at the front leg of the dresser. We have five drawers that each weigh 100 newtons and when pulled out, the 100 newton center of mass is 0.145 meters away from the pivot point or yellow triangle. Now in order for the dresser not to fall through the floor, there must be a force acting at the back leg of the dresser, pushing the dresser so it cannot rotate. This is marked as a wood grain arrow and is 0.47 meters from the pivot point. Now let's work with what we are given to find out how many drawers we can pull out before the dresser topples over. You might want to pause here and try to work it out for yourself. Let's begin with the dresser weight, which is defined as the weight on the left side of the pivot point. You might be thinking it is 222 newtons, but in reality, it is actually the frame weight plus the weight of all the drawers that are pushed in. We will be assuming that the center of the mass on the dresser weight on the left side of the pivot point does not change when you push or pull out drawers. So it is 0.235 meters. This is not 100% realistic, but this simplification makes life easier and this problem is just for fun. Now the drawers pulled out weight is equal to the weight of each drawer times the number of drawers because all the drawers weights are 100 newtons each. If you wanted to complete this with variances in the drawer weight, you'd simply add up the drawer's unique weights together. Now we need to find the force that is the floor pushing back on the back legs of the dresser. You may have noticed at the top of the screen there's a diagram that is a lever. This represents this problem. So now recall that if a torque is going clockwise, it is negative, and if it is going counterclockwise, it is positive. With that being said, we notice that the torque from the force from the floor pushing back on the dresser and the force from the drawers that are pulled out are negative because they are going clockwise. Looking at the force from the dresser frame and pushed in drawers, we can see that it is going counterclockwise, so it will be positive. Now we can set this all equal to zero because we assume no movement. As we add in drawers, if the value of the floor pushing back goes from positive to negative, then we have the number of drawers that it'll take to tip over the dresser. So putting all those values into the sum of torque equation, we have that the negative torque from the floor on the back of the dresser plus the torque from the frame and pushed in drawers minus the torque from the pulled out drawers equals zero. Now to get what we are solving for, the force that the floor is pushing back on the dresser, we must add the torque from the back side of the dresser to both sides, then divide by the distance from the back leg to the pivot point. Doing so, we are left with the displayed equation. Now instead of calculating this all out by hand, I decided to use Excel instead. Doing so, we have the displayed table. If you are following along at home, you can use the above equations for the dresser weight and the pulled out drawer weight. You can then check your work using the table below. There is a column that represents the force from the dresser, which is below the green arrow. And then there is also a column that represents the force from the pulled out drawers, which is represented below the purple arrow. Take your forces and plug them into the equation we found where the arrows are in the equation. Looking at the table, we notice that at five drawers being pulled out, the force at the back leg goes from positive to negative. This means you'd need to fasten the back leg down to keep it from tipping at five drawers pulled out. So you could, in theory, safely pull out four drawers and the dresser would not tip over. But once you open that fifth drawer, the dresser would tip over. This, of course, does not take into account the dynamic force from opening and closing drawers. This is intended to be a fun problem to illustrate how static equilibriums work. It is too oversimplified to give an exact answer, but we'll give a close approximation. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.